So can you describe the day, one of the days that you like felt the peace shiver? Nope. You, you can't. You don't remember. I got an interview. You would cool about You just don't? Because I had it happen. Okay. So I know I said last time I was going to interview a lot of people. Well, I only end up interviewing Daniel. And he told me he didn't remember anything. So, I mean, just by that, I really doubt anyone will remember what happens during the day when they pee. So, I mean, I really don't know what to do. Well, I didn't know what to do. So then I came up with another theory. And I call this theory the sleepy pee-pee theory. Maybe... When your body gets really tired and you go to the bathroom and pee, your body shivers to try to wake you up. Now I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know what? I'm trying to find anything at this point, so I decided to give it a try. So I decided to come up with an elaborate plan. I went over to my neighbor's house, and I know he keeps melatonin pills on the top of his dresser. So, when he wasn't looking, I snatched one. He ended up finding it, and he asked that I give it back, but I promised him that it was going to be put to good use. So, now we go on to the plan. So, I brought the melatonin pill inside my mint case, you know, so no one would suspect that I was carrying around melatonin. Then, then I brought a bag of confetti. Now, the bag of confetti will be used for later purposes, as in... I will use it to distract Limpa from what's actually going on. So I kind of planned it in my head on how it would go, and let's just say it didn't turn out how I thought it would happen, but it was still pretty interesting. So I was finally there. I was ready to do it. I had the pill in my hand underneath the table, and I was ready to go. The only thing is, he got lunch from Wendy's. Now this threw me off because, for one, it's kind of impossible to tamper with fast food. Because, I mean, he's going to grab onto it with his life because it's fast food. Anyone would do that. No one's going to give up their fast food or even go away for a second. So it was kind of, it was basically impossible to pull off what I was about to do. But I found a way. I distracted him by talking about his water bottle that was next to him. He kept ranting about how he got it in Universal Studios or whatever, and I was just going along with it. I was really, like, excited about it, acting excited. And then finally, I made my move. I went to open up the cap to the water, and I dropped the pill in. But the thing is, he seen me do it, and he thought that I put a, a Skittle. You're not going to believe this. He thought I, I put a sour Skittle in his drink, and he believed that. The funny thing is that he left it in there and continued to drink it because he thought it was a sour Skittle. And I was like, yes. So it's working out, but it's not working out the way I wanted it to. Honestly, I just thought it was hilarious because, I mean, the whole time he was drinking melatonin water and he kept ranting about how he has a sour Skittle in his drink. And he was telling everybody that I did that. And I was just going along with it and laughing. But then we hit history class, and I noticed that it really wasn't working. He wasn't as tired as I wanted him to be, but that could just be Lempa, because Lempa has a lot of energy. So I was kind of getting angry that it wasn't working, but, you know, what, what can you really do? So now we hit after school. When I was working at my school, I was carrying a, a cart of pumpkins out by the lobby when I seen Lempa come out of the sliding glass doors, and he looked angry, like, at me, like, I don't know what he was doing, he was holding his drink in his hand, which is actually pretty funny, you know, like, while he's holding his drink. I had thought that he found out that I put melatonin in his water, because he, he looked really mad at me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, did you find out? I, I don't know why I said that, I said, did you find out? And he's like, did I find out what? That you put a sour Skittle in my drink? And he's like, of course I did. And then, like, relief went over me, because I'm like, oh, he still doesn't know. But then, I, I'm like... I decided to just tell him, so I drank the rest of it, like I grabbed it out of his hand and I drank the rest of it, and then I told him it was melatonin, I, I put a melatonin pill in there, and he was just like, he wasn't even like, surprised for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums up this video. I might make another update video with new information, but for now on, uh, yeah, that was my little, little spiel. Yeah, tune in next time for Pea Shivers Part 3. JB, 
just no. Stop. Please, you've ru the state's already ruined enough. It, it, it can't get much worse. I'm sorry. But you'll find a way. How does JB have to do anything with pea shivers? What? How does JB have to do anything with pea shivers? Well, I don't think he's ever had a job. I have no clue what you just said, but I don't think he's ever had a job. So, uh, I'm moving Texas suckers.